He has explored the more Gao grottoes to seek inspiration from the glory of ancient images. He used underlying geometric patterns to render the snow-capped peaks under the sky. Against the background is the vast expanse of land bearing the rejoicings of Kazakh herders. And these bold, remarkable lines portrayed an exuberant scene in the daily life of the shepherdesses. The campus is brimming with a vibrant sense of energy and expectancy. In 1948, Dong Xiwen created the oil painting titled Kazakh Shepherdesses. With geometric shapes and striking colors, the masterpiece presented a poetic imagination of the Kazakh life. In the whole of China, it was not so popular as today. Dong Xiwen could be described as "dong xiwen," meaning "strong and innovative." 他的油画《哈萨克牧羊女》既有强烈的民族风格语言，又具有非常鲜明的现代意识的作品，这真可以说啊，是一个创举。Contemplating the canvas in the exhibition hall, one can sense a familiarity that is hard to identify. This comes from the Mo Gao Grottoes in Dunhuang, an ancient treasure trove of fine art hidden in the Sea of Sand. In 1942, the city of Chongqing was still suffering repeated bombings. Here in the wartime capital of China, Dong Xiwen was a recent arrival. He had studied at the Hangzhou Fine Art Academy, training under masters like Lin Fengyan. But now he struggled to make ends meet as a movie caption writer. Often distracted by the shrill air raid sirens, Dong Xiwen was at a loss. He yearned to create artworks to contribute to the war effort. But he couldn't see a clear path for the future of his country and for his professional career. An unexpected encounter with Dunhuang murals rekindled the sparks in his heart. The 29-year-old artist became obsessed with these ancient Buddhist images and lingered in the exhibition venues from dawn to dusk. In these centuries-old wall paintings, Dong Xiwen saw the essential temperament of Chinese fine art. 
He was especially impressed by the grace and dignity of the figures portrayed. In this invaluable body of cultural heritage, kept beyond the ravages of war, Dong Xiwen saw his future as an artist. In the 40s and 50s, especially Dong Xiwen in the military, a artist going to the east. 尽管条件很艰苦，但是他们这种精神的向往，啊，这种文化理想的追求，使得他们克服困难。董希文 set out from Chongqing and started an arduous journey. With his feet, he measured the vast distances of inhospitable deserts, driven by the burning conviction. Deep in his heart, it took him three months to arrive in Dunhuang. Here at the Mogao Grottoes, Dong Xiwen immersed himself in this holy temple of ancient art. Lit by flickering lamplight, the shapes and figures in the wall paintings were reduced to an array of geometric patterns and blocks of lively colors. Dong Xiwen spent countless hours in the dim caverns, copying and sketching. Occasionally, he would use mirrors to enhance the inadequate light. Not a single detail escaped his attention. The scenes of everyday life from over a millennium ago came alive, like a ballad vividly enacted on a gigantic screen. Dong Xiwen was deeply moved. Dunhuang Bihua, without a doubt, is one of the most important monuments of our nation. 非常丰富的主题、内容，特别是造型、语言的体系。与此同时的话，他在思考如何运用油画的语言啊，形成中外融合、中西融合。董希文 spent more than two years in Western China. Apart from copying the cave murals, he also traveled across the vast territory. Both natural scenery and human activity were recorded in his sketches. Near the town of Dunhuang, Dong Xiwen came across a Kazakh tribe, which had lived there for generations. He was impressed by the snow, mountains, and flowing ethnic costumes. And the pastoral life seemed to merge into the wall paintings created centuries ago. Since that moment, Kazakh life became associated with the wall paintings of Dunhuang in the mind of Dong Xiwen. In 1948, while Dong Xiwen had returned to Beijing, the pastures of Kazakh herders still resonated in his imagination. The colorful ethnic costumes, the rosy cheeks of Kazakh girls, the steaming gold milk. All these features of Kazakh life soon found their way onto Dong Xiwen's canvas. He boldly discarded the perspective, volume, and lighting of Western oil painting, and instead relied on the sturdy contours and geometric patterns of Dunhuang wall paintings. The innovative use of flat blocks of colors generated a refreshing visual harmony and rhythm.
，在哈萨克牧羊女中啊，就仅仅以艺术形式来看，不是按照焦点透视的西化的方式，而是像敦煌壁画一样，按照平面的啊这个层次啊来展开啊。所以哈萨克牧羊女啊，一眼就可以看出和敦煌壁画的啊这种因缘。Since then, Dong Xiwen had explored the path of adopting the oil media to the spirit of Chinese fine art. From the famed founding ceremony of the People's Republic of China, to the monumental renewal of thousand-year-old land about Tibet's liberation, the Chinese style in Dong Xiwen's works has proved a hallmark of the nation's cultural competence. Employing the ancient artistic syntax to portray today's inspiring life, Dong Xiwen's canvas has transcended the limits of time.